in this very short and to the point video, I will explain to you how you can very easily send digital text messages over GMRS or over FRS or over pretty much any kind of radio. However, for the purposes of this video, we will constrain the discussion to GMRS. But first allow me to thank my new friend, William, I like to call him Wilbert, who sent me a message on my ex, formerly known as Twitter, informing me of this new and innovative method for sending digital text messages over any radio. Now, first of all, it is very important to remember that whenever discussing sending digital data over the GMRS airwaves, we must take into consideration what our overlords at the FCC's have to say about such activities. Because if we do not talk about these rules, some people will leave stupid comments telling us that we will go to jail if we send digital data over the free and open GMRS airwaves. So with that in mind, allow me to read the FCC's rules, part 95.1731 subpart D, which says, and I quote, GMRS handheld portable units may transmit digital data containing location information or requesting location information from one or more other GMRS or FRS units or containing a brief text message to another specific GMRS or FRS unit. And FCC's Rules Part 95.1773 Subpart C also specifies that you can only do digital data transmissions on the regular GMRS channels. In other words, not on repeater channels. And there are also a few other FCC's rules about what kind of radios can send digital data transmissions. However, when we use this method to send text messages, which I will demonstrate momentarily, we are not sending digital data transmissions as defined by the FCC's. We will be sending analog transmissions that just happen to have some digital noise within the transmission. So what I am saying is, I am not a lawyer, nor do I offer legal advice of any kind. And nobody should listen to or do anything I say just because I say it on the YouTubes. My videos and all information therein are for edutainment purposes only. And it is also very important to bear in mind that assuming this method is fully within the FCC's rules, it is still highly, highly annoying for anyone that happens to be listening to whatever channel that you're on. So be sure to do it often. You can use any GMRS walkie-talkie radio to do this. For demonstration purposes, I will be using this Boof Wang UV5R walkie-talkie radio. And you will need the Rattlegram app, which is free for both Android phones and real phones. You can get it in the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. After installing the Rattlegram app, just open it up and allow me to take just one moment to clarify that you do not need interweb service to use this app. So you can be out in the middle of nowhere or in a grid down type situation and still send text messages over the airs using this app. Then turn on your radio and put your phone near it. Then just type in your message, hold the phone near the microphone of your radio, gently pull the push to talk trigger, and press the transmit button in the app. And your message will be digitally transmitted over the airs. To receive a message, just put your phone near your radio and make sure the volume on the radio is up. The app will listen for the annoying digital noise sound and will automatically receive and transpose the digital message that is being sent to you, thusly. As mentioned only a moment ago, you do not need interweb service on your phone. However, you do need a fairly strong and clear signal, both to and from the radio you are sending or receiving the digital text message from. So as you just saw with your very own eye holes, it is a bit of a pain, but it is a fun and simple way to send text messages 
with no cell phone or interwebs service. And finally, I would be remiss if I did not mention that these messages should not be considered private messages. Anyone listening with a GMRS radio will hear just annoying digital noise like this. But anyone else using the Rattlegram app and probably other apps, will also be able to see and read your text messages. So while it is sort of private in that most people will just hear annoying digital noise, it is not private. So act accordingly. <laughs>